Pony here. What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's ass, the Pony Express. A very, very ticked off Vic here. You know what ticks me off? Nosy fucking people with big mouths who should keep their fucking mouths shut. I'll make a long story short. I needed some landscaping done. You know, typical shit at this time of the year. Aeration, seeding, fertilizer. And of course, everyone's schedules are insane because all their clients need the same thing done at the same time. So the only time my guy could squeeze me in was on a Sunday. Okay, fine. Whatever. I get it. The weather fucks up schedules and the landscapers get behind and they have to break their humps and start working every day until the next rainstorm fucks up their schedules again. You with me so far? Good. So anyway, he's supposed to be at my house at 10 a.m. He shows up at noon. Whatever. I get it. His last job went longer than expected. I want to watch the Giants at 4.30, so it should be okay. Anyway, he and his guys are doing their thing, and he yells to me, Hey, Vic, you got a rake? You got a rake I can borrow? I left my equipment in my work truck. Now, he drove his work truck with his trailer and some equipment in it. He doesn't have enough brakes? That's like a doctor asking me to use my stethoscope. But sure, no problem. I'll, I'll get you a rake. So the guy's using my rake, and the, the head snaps off. He brings it over. He says, look, it rotted. And I could see for myself it, it was about to break. Okay, so I happen to have another rake, so I get it, and I give it to him. Everything is cool. Everything is nicey-nice. Then he says, okay, I'm ready to seed. Where are the bags of seed, and do you have a spreader? First of all, I agree to buy the seed, so no problem there. But I say to him, hey, hey, buddy, don't you have a spreader? And he says, no, I didn't bring one. Plus, I knew you had one. So the landscaper who needs to spread grass seeds doesn't bring a rake or a spreader. This, this is like a lumberjack coming to my house and asking to borrow my axe. Whatever. I get him my spreader. So I'm watching them spread the seed, and while I stand by the road, a fucking woman drives up in a black Cadillac Escalade with dark tinted windows, and as she rolls by, she has the window cracked and says, we don't do yard work on Sundays in this neighborhood. And she keeps driving. Now, I realize she thought I was like the foreman of the crew because I had jeans and boots and, and work gloves on. Okay. And I'm like, I'm thinking, what the fuck did she just say? First of all, Cadillac Karen, shut the fuck up. Second of all, you're a fucking coward for not letting me see your face. Third of all, go read the town ordinance about noise and work that's allowed to be done outside every single fucking day. Fourth of all, was this some kind of Bible thing about resting on Sunday and not doing yard work? Hey, Cadillac Karen. Should we call every NFL team and tell them to cancel their games because you think they should rest? Or should we tell all the employees at all the stores you just shopped at to go home? Listen up, Cadillac Karen. Go fuck yourself and mind your own fucking business, you big mouth jackass hua pig bitch. Live your life. Don't impose your personal rules on me. Anyway, the yard work got done and the guys went home and that was my Sunday. I watched the Giants lose again. I had a little do 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 I had a glass of wine. I went into my hot tub, took a deep breath, closed my eyes and pretended I peed on Cadillac Karen's head. Nosy fucking people with big fucking mouths who should keep their fucking mouths shut. That's what ticks me off.